What's up guys, I'm the Easy Vlogs, back here with another video for you guys. Today, Easy are playing Talkie United. We're approaching Talkie, we're just like basically around the corner. And, um, yeah, basically, Talkie are quite, I think they're in good form, but I think they drew last last game nil nil. And they're sitting 11th with 16 points. And Eastley, obviously we lost last game against um, <coughs> Fylde, lost 3-1 to them at their ground. And obviously, we're sitting 20th, we're three points behind them, but if we win today, we have a chance of catching them up, but uh, realistically, I don't think it's a chance. I don't think we'll win today as I've, as a recent performance has not been good. I think without Rude and Johnson in our defence is pretty weak, so I think we're going to lose today. I think our score prediction will lose 3 0 today. But also, there's no Rude and Johnson, I'm not sure why. He's not injured, I don't think. Um, I know Randall's injured, apparently. He, he, after the um, final game, he had a hamstring injury. Obviously, Tyrone Barnett's still injured with a hamstring injury. And I think that's it out for injuries. But um, other than that, I think we've got a couple of youngsters, or a couple of youngsters on the bench. But I think our I mean, same 11, basically, who played out on um, Saturday. Hopefully, um, Charlie Seaman starts. Because without him on Saturday, we didn't create anything. So hopefully he does start today, which would be brilliant. And hopefully we can at least score a goal. But realistically, if we're looking at our form, I don't think we'll win today. It'd be a struggle because obviously Torquay are in a good form, uh, high up in the table than us. And obviously if you if, if you are going to lose today, we're in deep trouble. Because obviously we're on a relegation zone and obviously Wrexham got a game in hand against us. So it'd be a tough it'd be a tough game to call, but yeah, I'll go 3 nil lot. I'm doing score predictions. Doing score predictions now. Obviously, obviously Saints are playing Pompey today, so we're doing that score prediction as well. As well, EC versus Torquay's. I'll start with Sarah. Uh, EC and Torquay. I think we're going to lose today, so I'm going to say two-one. And between Portsmouth and Southampton, oh, I'm definitely going for the Blues, but I think it's going to be one-one and then penalties. Kev. I mean, Torquay will win 3-1 and Pompey 2-0. 2-0. Stevens. Yeah, I'm going to... I think it's easy got to turn it round, so I'm going to go for a risky 2-0 to Eastleigh with uh, Boyce and uh, Randall Randall Atkinson. Yeah, I'm going to go for a risky 2-0 to Eastleigh with Boyce and Atkinson. Yeah, I'm going to go for a risky 2-0 to Eastleigh with Boyce and Atkinson. Yeah, I'm going to go for a risky 2-0 to Eastleigh with Boyce and Atkinson. And I think the same score, 2-0 to Saints. 2-0 to Saints. Do you want to score with these shots? Yeah, go on in. Tonight, Eastleigh 2-1. It's got Randall Hattrick. It's got Patrick Rendell. Yeah, and then uh, Saints Pompey, Saints 3 0, another Scott Rendell hat trick. He's going to be everywhere. Right? <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I'm going to go uh, Eastley uh, 2 0 win. 2 0 win. Uh, I think, um, yeah, uh, was it? I think Rendell might get his first tonight. And uh, Southampton as well, I'm going to go for a Saints 3 1 win. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go one all draw. I'm going to go Marcus Barnes Ooh. and two one Saints. Two one Saints. Go on, Dave. Go on. Uh, go on. I'm going two one Torquay and four one Saints. Four one Saints. Four predictions. No. One one Saints Torquay. Two one lost to Saints. Two one lost Saints. No. 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 Go on, do it fast. Uh, well, 2 1 Torquay, 2 1 Pompey. 2 1 Torquay, 2 1 Pompey. Yeah, uh -huh. okay. We're going to lose. We're going to lose like 7 0. Stremmons out. Okay, about Saints. Stremmons out, 7 0. 2 1 Pompey. Stremmons out, 7 0. Go on, Scat. Stremmons out. I think 2 1 Pompey and 3 0 Torquay. We've got 7 0. Go on. 3 1 Portsmouth and 4 0 Torquay. Talkie 3-0. Sarah, alright. And, and Saints. Saints. No, you don't need to do that. We're on ECA. Thanks, Jeff. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, You're welcome. 3-1 Pompey. And 3-1 Talkie. 3-1 Pompey. Everyone's Everyone's Strebs out. Fuck off. Strebs out. Yeah. 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 What would you do, Saints Pompey? Got Annie. It doesn't matter, innit? It's so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. It works for Saints. What do you mean? It's so embarrassing. It works for Saints. My solution is 3-0 Talkie and 3-1 Saints. Uh, this is my view. My view, what a class view. Oh, Joe. Fucking touch that. We sat there last year. Oh, no, two years ago, sorry. We sat there two years ago. Oh, yeah. Players warming up.
Baba Dunde! Mate, how deep do we go like? In it? Refs, legal. Challenge! He's off phone! What a save! Yeah. Yes! Wake up! Hey! Hey! Wake up! Save me! Fuck! Oh, it's been class. Well, it makes a change. This is the best game of the season. It might be 20 minutes. <laughs> Sizek's best game so far. That's what I said. Go on, release it. Fucking he's dickering. Oh, what? Ah! Hey! 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 Hit it! Don't. Sorry, that's the hardest thing. 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 Sorry, no, don't ask the fucking line, oh, shut up! Tactics! <laughs> 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 time, one nil down. Deserve to be down. Come on! Go on, Trina! Go on! Good ball! Take him on! Go on! Fucking go! Oh, it's it! Yeah! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on!
Oh, Danny Allen's the one and only. He's not for me. He says Danny's not bad if he said I'm from play. But I ain't so stiff for him. He fucking ain't so great. Oh, Danny Allen's the one and only. He's not for me. Stand up because the legs are again. Lay down! Oh, I think I might come on over play day. God, do some stretch. He's got an RBA, so he can't fucking sit down anymore because he's bursting out of his trackies. Well, let's, let's go back again, shall we? Let's switch it! Oh, yeah, we'll just yeah, fill up my legs now. Cross the legs, I'm a fucking away. weirdo. Look, he's fucking free! Uh, same player that only wants to drive. Oh, oh, oh Robin! Fucking Robin! Shoot! Oh, yeah! Oh, oh. oh. This is where we're going to lose it, though. 
go. Have a go. Hit it. Fuck it. Oh, you're a pussy. Have a shot. Jesus. Fuck it. Go on, Sonny. Go on, son. Go on. Sold him. Oh, I'm done. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Go on. How did you mess it up? I was watching a game, instead of watching. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. Getting his fucking phone. Bear stores. Marcus, fire the gun. Oh, no, 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 Give it!
Obviously, in the first half, Torquay did dominate us. I think, not gonna lie, we could have seen the more goals than two if it wasn't for Max. He did definitely about four to five saves in the first half to keep us in the game. And obviously, once you did a breakthrough with uh, a shot edge of the box from top bins, that's so not gonna lie, unlucky goal concede. But in the end, Toki did deserve that goal, and obviously Max Bossy wasn't gonna have a clean sheet because they kept dominating and having more shots. I think when it one nil, then they kept dominating. Uh, we just couldn't handle it. Yeah, we had a couple of chances, and obviously it, it, it become half time. And obviously, whatever the Strevens did at half time, the ta the talk tactics, it actually worked. Obviously, then yeah, and as they came out. We eventually did score with obviously yet again Danny Holland's he shot and obviously then deflected off one of the defenders went in. That's so it made it one one. And then they scored like short of five minutes straight after we scored. And I don't I wasn't too sure because people were saying the linesman had put his flag up for the offside. But I wasn't I didn't see it at all. I just thought obviously he headed it back, obviously tried tried it, saved it. 
So then he tapped it in, made it 2 1. And then, um, I, I, I don't say I don't know how I did get this goal. Um, Marcus Barnes, obviously, it came to him, it bounced there were two defenders next to him, and he's in the middle. As he turned, he just sort of, I think he sort of got him off his line. He hit the ball with his lace, and obviously, then he eventually chipped the goal, he went top over him and went in the, in the net. That was a really surprising goal. I was watching it instead of obviously recording. And then um, after that, we obviously did some subs. Yeah, we did make a couple of changes, but like, the first change was Williamson coming off for Tom Berish, which I think was the right move to do. So then eventually Tom Berish did score in the 92nd minute to win the game. And then obviously, I believe after he scored that, I believe, or just before, obviously market as Barnes went off. But I will say, what a goal by Marcus Barnes and obviously Tom Berish scoring his first goal and he possibly at his first minutes for the like, team and he scored in within like two two minutes of his debut or a minute even. And obviously he scored more goals than Randall. Obviously, Winston, I think it's Winston, has scored one or two so far this season. Obviously then, obviously, a top goal scorer is surprisingly a midfielder sort of a defensive midfielder, Danny Hollands. So, so it's really surprising me. He's our top goal scorer. So yeah, one three two absolute scenes. Nothing more to say and then winning a three two win. I wasn't really an easy three two win, but eventually we got the job done. But hopefully we can carry that form onto Saturday against Hartlepool. So Hartlepool are a good side. So if you don't step up a game like uh, as we didn't, as we didn't do it in the first half, we, we could be in trouble. But I just hope we went and see. Hopefully, he plays the same team as he did today, and make the same changes, and we we'll be alright. So yeah, if you do enjoy the video, give a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you Saturday.